Moving on, squatters at Chepchoina Settlement in Transnzoia and West Pokot County want to file a case against the government of Kenya with the International Criminal Court over what they claim is inhumane and unlawful eviction from their land. More than 800 families reside at Kaboto at the phase two scheme were evicted last year to allow vetting of the squatters who benefited from that land. Speaking in Kitale town after the application seeking to have them return to their land at Kitale was revoked. Human rights activist Wilfred Ogutu said they have resolved to take the government to ICC for abdicating its duties to resettle them and infringing on their basic human rights. The group has petitioned for the Environment and Lands Court in Kitale over what they claim is inhuman and unlawful eviction. Wakati Moy Ali Pena ninety four Mbaka ninety seven Ali Kumbuka Kunawatu when you're gonna find A D C Ile Ajakuba il gone watu wale maskini kama wapokot, turkana, marakwet, wana wana pigana pigana. Do you we a neo ya money kweka watu pamoja? The squatters who are now living in camps along the scheme say they lack basic needs and are often harassed by security officers in the area. Tumelia kila mara kuambia hawa, saidia sisi wanyonge. Lakini, tumeona, hakuna usaidisi. Tukikuja kotini, tunapuchwa inje. Tukienda wapi, tunapuchwa inje. Je, mutu kama tama mii musee na muna hii. Nasa, eh, nasa ongea uongo. This comes as leaders from the region led by Kapenguria MP Samuel Moroto accused some government officials of land grabbing, calling on the land cabinet secretary Farida Karone to intervene and resettle the squatters. Documents at Kitale High Court revealed that their application to have them back to the disputed land did not meet the threshold since there is an active case in court that will be heard on the 23rd of July. For Lunchtime News, I'm Alvin Kaunda.